Hey guys, Blocks1000 here, and welcome back to some more Minecraft story mode. In the last episode, we took down the Wither Storm without a price. We lost Reuben, who was a dear friend of us. But in the making, we became the New Order of the Stone, which is pretty cool, I gotta say. So, now we're gonna get started on the final episode. Episode 5, Order Up. So, this episode, uh, in case you can't tell, is a standalone episode from episode 1, 2, 3, and 4, so it's gonna be a separate story. So, um, but yeah, um, this may seem strange, but it'll all make sense as it goes along. And I gotta say, this episode is awesome. So, let's get started. Now, you know the episode's awesome when it starts out without an intro sequence, or a, um, like a recap. <laughs> That's true. So we got some ocelots. And there we are, Jesse. Nice smile there, Jesse. <laughs> In association with yeah, whatever. I don't need to say that. I say the intro sequence. Alright. This right here is pretty awesome. Alright. So, deck right here. Q. Look at our new sword, that's pretty cool. Uh, I guess they did that because, I, you know, it wouldn't make sense if we're battling enemies with a hoe or a shovel or an axe, so they just give us a sword instead. And this is just awesome, this sequence right here. Uh, Alright. Yeah, you get to kill, like, three enemies at once. That is just, like, this just goes to show how awesome we are at this point in the game. That's pretty cool too, Petra. And E. Nice reaction there. Must I bet I get I guess he must have had to slow down time for that. Hey Jesse, check this out. And three, two, one, pop! Jesus. <laughs> pretty cool, right? Gruesome. You can try it too if you Alright, here we go. And E. Oh man. Dude, you're getting pretty good at this. And there's Olivia. You guys are working way too hard. I swear, this is just so awesome, this intro sequence. It's just like, we're just kicking ass, everything's going awesome. And bonus style points for Jesse. That is one seriously cool temple. Yeah, points for Ivor, I guess. This was a good tip. Well, Jesse? Uh, for so, the are we doing this? for the glory, Order, Order of the Stone. Of the stone? It's time to get some glory. For, for glory. glory. So it seems that Ivor has told us about some temple in the jungle. I know we all yelled glory out there, but I'm not gonna lie to you. I was hoping for treasure. Come on, you know how these places work. The treasure's never just out in the open. Fan out and search the place. That's a decent idea. But before we do all that, let's talk to everybody. So, Petra, let's talk to you. Hi, Petra. Who's Petra? <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> um, how are you feeling lately? So, how are you feeling lately? Memory's all back, as far as I can tell. Now I'm just trying to get used to having teammates and people who worry about me. Pretty new for me. It's yeah. Nice though. I can imagine that. Uh, you're somebody who is always able to help yourself. <laughs> Thoughts on this place? I think I'd rather be in a straight fight than doing all this switch pulling stuff. But I'm glad I bore intel about this place was good. What are you talking about, Petra? You're not pulling any switches, you're just sharpening your sword. What do you think Ivor knew about this place? Eh, who knows? That guy's read like a million books and traveled all over the world. 
you probably start to learn a thing or two about a thing or two. Thing or two section. Okay, I'm gonna keep trying to solve this. Okay, uh, what's up next? Uh, okay, Olivia's over here. Hey, Olivia. Yeah. Hey, Olivia. I love how he said that. Hey, Olivia. So, have you been having a good time hunting for treasure? If you had asked me a couple of months ago, I would never have thought I would like all this adventuring and treasure hunting stuff. But this has actually been a really good time. And I've been getting lots of great stuff to build with. Yeah, it looks like the Order of the Stone is starting to become, like, a group of treasure hunters, like, um... Because, uh, in case you can't tell, this episode's set in several months after episode 4. So, what kind of treasure do you hope we find in here? Well, I've been working on a build that could use another couple dispensers. But some cocoa beans would be cool, too. And cocoa beans? I, I could go for some hot chocolate, even though it's summer now, and I shouldn't say that, because, like, winter was several months ago, and spring was also several months ago. Any ideas for how to fix this? Well, these channels of lava are blocked in strategic locations by those sticky pistons. Unblock them, and I'm guessing something cool will happen. I'm up for okay, cool I'm stuff. Okay, I'm gonna figure this out. Never doubted you for a minute. Oh, admit it, you did. Okay, Axel over here. Hey, Axel. What you need, buddy? I love he's just sitting over here in the corner. Uh, what do you think we'll find? So, what kind of loot do you think we're gonna find in here? Oh man, well, I want to make a room with an emerald floor, right? Mm, who doesn't? I'm like four emeralds away, so getting some emeralds would be pretty sweet. Indeed, it would match the it would match your shirt slash armor. I swear, it's really really weird. It looks like he doesn't have any armor on, but um. If you really think, of, I mean, if you really look close, you can actually tell that he has armor underneath his shirt or something like that, because you can see that he has like, like uh, armor on his arms or something like that. It's really, really weird. And he has his helmet. <laughs> Man, we have the best adventures, don't we? Yeah, it's pretty sweet. I was worried I wouldn't be cool enough or smart enough or whatever enough to be in the Order of the Stone. Thanks for always believing in me, buddy. You know it. Uh, thoughts on the situation? Axel, what do you think of this? What's the situation? situation? Um, I don't know about the situation. I kind of do more blowing stuff up. So, if you need someone to do stuff like that, I'm totally your guy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna keep working. Jesse's like, nod right there. He's just like, uh, okay, I, uh, it's not very helpful here, Axel. I, um,. I'm not sure what to do with that. <laughs> All right, let's flip the lever. Okay, so the combination for this uh, lever puzzle is a bit confusing at first. Uh, it took me a little while the first time, maybe about ten minutes or so. But once you know how to do it, it's all good. You gotta flip this second level. It's the le lever <laughs> level. Then that one actually close up. So then you actually have to go back and flip that one. Now. I wouldn't say that the episode five has has as good puzzles as as episode four did, but they're still pretty interesting puzzles. Like, uh, I now we're getting somewhere. Like the puzzles really start to get better by the time episode four starts up. Okay, so let's go flip that last lever, and that should do it. Somebody's manipulating the world. Whatever. He's a terraformer. I've been disappointed if the floor didn't open up into a dark, creepy passageway. Can't tell if you were being sarcastic about that or not, Axel. And can't get into a lot of things about you. Order's temple. We were such a scared bunch of noobs back then. Yeah, that's. Hey, that does feel like so no. long ago, even though it was only a few was months yelling, ago. Help me! Help me! The dispensers are trying to kill me. <laughs> Years ago, packed a lot in since then. And to think that was just the beginning. Yeah, the beginning when everybody thought that this game was gonna suck, except me and a few other people, and then it turned out to be really awesome. Yes. Bingo! Okay, here we go. Let's 
see what we've got. Now, picking which chest doesn't do anything, you actually get the same stuff in each chest, so let's just pick a random one, this one. So, let's see what we find. Hey, it's a, cake. a cake that's been sitting in a chest for thousands of years. And I was super jealous of you? It's just... Uh, really let's cake. give it to him because now, it's a thousand-year-old cake. Hey, if you want it, it's all you. Oh man! Oh man! Oh man! I can just imagine that. It's just like you just find a cake that's like a thousand years old and you just give it to some guy. I suppose that could be useful if we run into Enderman. And looks like we've got one more thing in here. It's. Oh, what, what is this? Find? What are you guys talking about? Whoa, that's super cool. I've never seen flint and steel. Uh, is that an enchantment? That glow. Is it some sort of enchantment? I don't know. I've seen people put an unbreaking enchantment on flint and steel before, but that's not unbreaking. You could give it a shot and find out. Okay, flint and steel, do your thing. Okay, let's strike it. And that's not good. Definitely never seen Flint and Steel do that before. Uh oh. Okay, this ain't good. We're trapped. Looks like some monsters have a death wish. You said it. What's the plan? Um. Okay, these are all the handshakes yeah, back from episode so one. You can pick one and you'll do like a special move or something uh, like that. I want to do Builder Bump. Mostly just because that's, mostly because that's the uh, the one that I Come did before. On, like the one that I did back in episode one, that's the handshake I took. That's it. There we go. So, this special move allows you to like build a bridge across. The other ones are pretty cool, but I don't really know. I uh, I just felt like doing Builder Bump because it's my favorite personal. All right. Oh, all these mobs. Where does it end? He yes. die. Oh my god! He just sliced his leg off. That was sweet. Yeah, that, that's that's not good. Now. Okay, run. All right, this part's kind of intense. Uh, lots of fast uh, quick time events. I, I mean, they don't call them quick time events for nothing, guys. Uh, e. And nowhere to go. We're trapped. Now what? Quick jump. Uh, jump. Oh, jeez. I don't really know. This part's gets a little. The parts where we have to line the cursor up are always confusing. I mean, they're always hard for me because, like, it's so hard to actually line them up. Okay. Spiders. Why did it have to be cave spiders? Only way out of here is through them, so get ready. I feel like that's some sort of reference. Like, maybe. Yeah, I, I don't know why. I just feel like that's just some sort of reference to, um, something. Like, why do they have to be cave spiders? Okay. Uh, throw that. Oh, sick! We're all freaking out except you guys, because you guys have no life. I'm just kidding. You guys are awesome. I'm uh, not talking about you guys, the guys watching this. I'm talking about the Order of the Stone. <laughs> all right, come on, Jesse. If I meant that you guys had no life, I. No, I did not mean that. I mean, I did not mean that about you. <laughs> if you thought that, I'm so sorry. Doing that never gets old. Woo! Yeah, not too bad. Killing a bunch of monsters, getting sweet treasure. Sweet treasure. Like flint and steel thing. You gotta try it again. I'd be curious to see it again too. Um, I'm dying to know how it works. Way ahead of you. Way ahead of you on that one, Axel. Okay. Free stump ignite. Well, well, where'd you get the new toy? Look who it is. 
Looks a little, uh, sophisticated for you, Jesse. Order of the losers. Yeah, losers. Do you remember who these guys are? In case you don't, you these are the ocelots. You, we they were the guys you. back from episode well, one. Well, well. It isn't Aiden and the Pussycats. From the building competition. That's not our name. So what are you ocelots doing here anyway? The ocelots were Lucas's gang. We ditched that name just like we ditched him. Yeah, we rebranded. We're the Blaze Rods now. Ooh, cool name. Sorry, boss. Huh. Pretty cool name. Of course it is. And I don't give a crap about what you think. Harsh. And where's Lucas, huh? The minute the order decided you were cool, for whatever reason, he wouldn't stop sniffing around you like a tame dog. You take that back. Mm, no. Uh, hey, he wanted to save you. And yeah, Lucas is a hero. Yeah, Lucas is a hero. Which is more than I can say for any of you creeps. You probably think that thing makes you so special. Classic Jesse. You take all the best stuff and never give anyone else a chance. That should have been ours. Oh yeah. Uh yeah. We don't you don't have what it takes. There's no shame in being second rate eight. Not everyone can do what the order of the stone can. Oh yeah. <laughs> well that's that's just what I expect from someone as small minded as you, Jesse. Hand okay. Okay, he's got seat. poor impulse control. Don't ask again. You don't get that. Um. It's supposed to be mine. Back off. Haven't you taken enough? You better back off, Aiden. Getting this was no cakewalk. Taking you down wouldn't be any trouble at all. Oh Big yeah. Talk. Gonna back that up? I'm tired of listening to your jaw flap. Ah! Ugh. You don't touch me. Standoff. Some hero you are, Jesse. Gotta say, this scene is really cool. Just like how tense it is. Uh, I'm gonna take you down, Aiden. I promise. <sighs> Fine. What hope do we have when heroes? Like you are throwing your weight around Leg. like this. <laughs> Much? It's not always going to be this way, though. Come on, you guys. Let's get out of here. Blaze rods! Ooh. I told you to shut up! <laughs> I love them. I love Look Gil. Out, Gil is so funny. Blaze rods! Uh, he's really losing it. Wow. Us being the new order of the stone is really getting to that guy. He's gone crazy. We should be careful. He seems different, scarier. Man, and all because he wanted that flint and steel. What are you gonna do with it? Uh. Ivor's the one that told us about it. We're taking it home. He might know something about it. We're bringing it home. It'll be safe there. So guys, I think that's a great place to end off for today. So, thank you guys for watching this episode of Minecraft Story Mode. Next time, we will return home and figure out what that flint and steel does. See you guys later. Bye.